Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just posted the, the Ingrid Andress video, and Patrick Casper says, Michael, I watch a bunch of your videos, and every time one comes out, I just keep thinking, man, you got to react to Everything That Glitters Is Not Gold by Dan Seals. It's everything music should be. Give it a chance if you're feeling like having your heart pulled out of your chest on camera. <laughs> I'm always feeling that way. I pulled it up. I hit the first live one that I saw. Um, I do not think I have heard this. I could be wrong. I have no idea. But we are just going to hit the button and do this together, ladies and gentlemen. Saw your picture on a poster In a cafe out in Phoenix Guess you're still the sweetheart of the rodeo As for me and little Casey We still make a circuit in a one-horse trailer and a mobile home. Real quick, love this chord progression. We're in the key of E. I think he's got a capo, so all the little flares and stuff I'm not going to get. But it's E major. And then one of my favorite moves ever. Bring the bass up to the three, right? But keep the one on top, so it becomes E major first inversion or E over G sharp. So you got, um, you know, to lead to your four, which is A, and then one. Walk down, six C sharp minor, B to five, A to four. Love it. She still asks about you all the time. And I guess we never even cross your Sharp. mind. And then for that, for that, for that uh, chorus part, whatever you want to call it, two chord, F sharp minor to B major. Sometimes I think about you and the way you used to ride down. As for me, I've come to know Everything that glitters is not gold Go on, give me another verse. Well, old Red, he's getting older And last Saturday he stumbled But you know I just can't bear to let him go Little case, she's still growing, and she started asking questions. And there's certain things a man just does not know. Her birthday came, and you never even called. Mm. Here we go. I guess we never. Cross your mind at all But then sometimes I think about you I love that little falsetto. Um, all right, so clearly this is about a, a mom leaving. Um, I, I didn't I, I'm gonna have to li uh, do the first the first verse again. I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna go back and catch all the um, catch all the everything. Let's keep going though. And the way you used to ride down In your rhinestones and your sequins With the sunlight on your hair the crowd will always love you As for me, I come to know Everything that glitters is not gold 
crowd will always love you, but for me, I've come to know not everything that glitters is gold. I love it. So you got so you got a famous writer, cowgirl or whatever that is the, is the picture I'm painting, who is in the limelight, and and uh, is pulled away from the family. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm assuming here, but you know, just like anybody that's famous or on tour, uh, you know. At, tends to live an unshareable life uh, but that doesn't mean you don't um you know have a family you know that you that you build along the way but you don't necessarily take them with you right nor necessarily could you and you certainly know that your life is about choices and you choose to go where you're going to go uh and so the family knows that not always glitters is gold you know that you know your daughter's asking questions the father doesn't know the answers to. And on the birthday you didn't call. Now I expect a pretty heavy bridge here. Everybody said you'd make it big someday. One. And I guess that we were only in your way. See, even if that's not what they intended, that's how it feels. Someday I'm sure you're going to the cost. Yes. Cost for everything you win, there's something lost. You got the truth. Then sometimes I think about you and the way you used to ride down. Stones and your sequins With the sunlight on your hair And all oh, the crowd Will always love you As for me I've come to know Everything that Is not gold That's a real tune. You know, I, um, that's a real story that so many people can understand. Um, you know, life is choices. The work life balance, whether you're at home or on the road, um, it all comes down to just flat out choices. Uh, because I have the, the microphone. I'm going to share something right now. Um, I uh, always wanted to be in the limelight. I wanted to be a rock star. I wanted, you know, I moved out to LA. Um, I, uh, you know, wanted to be that thing, and that, and that, and that didn't happen. Uh, that didn't happen in the way that I wanted it to. But there was a point in my life when I realized that, um, you know, I was playing hundreds and gigs a year and. And you know, for for many many years, and and looking for bigger stages and bigger everything, uh, and then something happened when I started to have kids, where I realized that um, the universe had sent me a uh, a real chance here, and I got really really lucky that the internet uh, came out. At, at, and I saw people starting to make a living on it that were musicians um, right when I was kind of at that point of I was going to have to choose whether to put a to build a life around my family or a family around my life. You know what I mean? And most musicians, and again, they're talking about, you know, rodeo here or it, it could be an athlete. It could be anything. Um uh, you know, an, an, an astronaut, whatever you want. Uh, there's a choice that we all have to make. Uh, whether we do something that is unshareable 
and then we have a family, like when we come back from that unshareable thing, um, or or we or or we find a way to build a life around our family, uh, your family. I have never envied the people on the road that had kids and had families because it just seems so totally unsustainable. And I bet, just like that one line he says, I think one day you'll realize how much you lost or what the cost is. I forget the line he said. I think everybody knows the cost. And I think everybody on the other end, you know, knows the truth that a choice was made, right? And that's not necessarily inherently right or wrong. But there's a there's an inherent truth there that that you know you made the choice, and for every win there's a loss, right? And they know that you know that you know they feel that way, but that ah, I miss the way you used to ride. Like I, I like like there's still that thing about it, like like where you want somebody to be all of themselves, because that's the only way they can be anything for anybody. But there's a choice that's made, and and for any for whatever reason, I, I'm just personally grateful that I stopped chasing that and went all in on my family, and then the internet gave me the ability to take the skill set that I had been working on my whole life and go all in on education, which is just as much as important to me as playing, and do it on the internet, so I don't have to be away from my family the whole time so that I can do this with you all and still fulfill that childhood boyhood thing that like I knew I was going to have this in my hands my whole life no matter what and I didn't have to make that I didn't have to make the choice that so many do uh because I I I I saw that a new choice was anyway I'm rambling all I'm saying is I'm deeply grateful and I understand this song deeply and I have so many friends uh that are on the road and it's so damn hard and you're loved. Your kids love you. Your spouse loves you. Love yourself some. Don't lose that perspective. Cheers.